Hi, this is M. Prasad Nayadu. Today we are discussing about replication. First of all, what is replication? Replication is a mechanism of DNA to DNA synthesis. So, DNA is who proposed? Watson Crick is proposed to DNA structure. DNA is a double helical structure. Besides the maintaining the integrity of DNA sequence and DNA repair, all organisms must duplicate their accurately before the every cell division. DNA replicates occur at polymorphism rates of about 500 nucleotides per second in bacteria and about the 50 nucleotides per second in mammals. Clearly, the proteins that catalyze this process must be both accurate and fast. Speed and accuracy are achieved by means of a multiple enzyme complex that guides the process and constitutes an elaborate replication machine. First of all, replication is the 5 prime end and 3 prime end. These are the two parts will be ends. Simultaneously, it will be replication will be occurs. So, replication is simultaneously, both, both sides will be occur. Replication is bidirectional. Replication obeys the base pair rule. Replication results two daughter DNA strands. Each DNA strands one parent strand and one complementary strand synthesized newly. Hence, the replication is semi-conservative, held by the phosphodiesterase bond and hydrogen bonds. So, replication where will be occurred? Replication is occurred in cell cycle. First of all, we will discuss about cell cycle. This cell cycle is a sequence of event occur in cell during the cell division. Its result formation of two identical daughter cells. Duration of cell cycle varies cell to cell. It occurs in four phases. First of all, we will discuss about the how many phases? Four phases. These four phases, first one is G1 phase, that is cap phase. Second one is S phase. What is S phase? S phase is synthetic phase. Then finally, G2 and M phase. So G2 is a gap 2 phase where the replication any repair will be occurred in cap phase then m phase m phase is nothing but mitotic phase so these four phase will be occurred so what we are going to about the cell cycle so cap one phase is a preparative phase of dna synthesis all cellular components replicate expect the dna cell size increases any damage to dna is detected in cap phase Synthesis phase. This synthesis, will, will be, synthesis phase is DNA replication takes place. Gap tube phase is prepare, prepares the for cell division and spindle formation. Any damage to DNA is detected. M phase is nothing but mitotic phase. Cell undergoes the cell division. It includes the prophase, metaphase, and anaphase and thedophase. After the mitotics, Cell may be continuous cell by re-entering into the G1 or enter to G0 phase and remain the dormants or leads to cell death. These are the four mechanisms G1 synthetic phase and G2 fourth, fourth one is mitosis phase. It sim stimulates the go phase. How many models of DNA synthesis? We will discuss about only three models of replications so those are conservative model semi conservative model and disparative model these are the three mechanisms so conservative is one is a parental dna one is completely divided into the daughter dna then conser semi conservative is means half of the parts is synthesized by ma mother dna half of the it is synthesis own dna that means semi conservative so third one is disparate model so disparate model means this some some bridges will be formation so this semi conservative model is replication is uh, cscl that means ccm chloride this will be estimation of the dna how the means first phase and second phase what we are going to discuss about the this replication is semi conservative bands so this semi conservative DNA model is majorly heavy band, some hybrid band, some light band, some hybrid band. So
so these are the mechanism how they will be we can analyze in the photograph model in uh, agarose gel also we can estimate the D, this dna semi conservative original we already discussed about the one is parental dna another one is the daughter dna so this both will be half of the part synthesis will be simultaneously dna replication this we know what are the requirements so what are the requirements means majorly we have discussed about the deoxyribonucleotic nucleotides then template dna strands and rna primer then enzymes so these are the four mechanisms dna ribonucleotides template dna strands and rna primer and enzymes so first of all we will discuss about the enzymes dna polymerase primase helicase dna ligase topoisomerase single stranding binding protein that is sspp so first of all we will discuss about the ssbp this is single strand binding protein binds to single strand binding protein has two functions only they have two functions prevent the reanalyzing those providing as a template requested by the polymerase protect the single strand dna from the nucleo nucleus activity show cooperative binding helicase the separate the dna strand to single strand dna dissolving the hydrogen bonds holding the two strand together this separates the dna single strand dna at the physiological temperature atp is dependent here at least nine helicases have been de described in e coli of which dna binding protein a b c this is dna a dna b dna c these are the three three important proteins are most important initially separation is the dna a and continued further dna b major strand separating the protein bidirectional so this will be protein bidirectional dna c is required to the loading of dna b at the site of replication so how this mechanism means dna helicase it will be uh, unwinding mechanism it is enter into the unwinding mechanism next is primase so what is primase primase is a specified rna polymerase it is synthesized a short stretch of rna 5 prime to 3 prime direction on template running the 3 prime to 5 prime direction direction so see, here it is major lateral 5 prime to 3 prime and 3 prime to template is 3 prime to 5 prime direction an rna primer about the 100 to 200 nucleotides long is synthesized by rna primase the rna primer is removed by the dna p using exonuclease activity and is replaced by the deoxyribonucleated by dna p here is primase is the initiative mechanism so next comes to the dna ligase dna ligase close next the phosphodiesterase backbone of the dna to the most important biological rules of dna ligases is joining the adjoining the okazaki fragment during the replication completing the short patch of dna synthesis occur occurring in dna repair process there are two classes of dna hell ligases this ligase is two classes only that is first one is uh, uses the nad as a cofactor and only found bacteria the second uses the atp as a cofactor and found as eukaryotics viruses and bacteriophages so that dna ligase structure means it is very prime prime to three prime three prime to five prime is the structure will be formed the, the reactions occurred in three stages in all dna ligases the formation of a covalent enzyme amp adenosine monophosphate intermediate link to the a synth a lysine side chain in the enzyme transfer of the amp nucleotide the 5 prime phospho phosphate of the nicked dna strand attacked on the amp dna bond by the 3 prime oxygen hydroxyl bond of the nicked dna sealing the phosphate backbone and recycling the enzyme so here a dna ligase is 5 prime to 3 prime here is hydroxyl and phosphate is single strand nick will be this small nicks will be formed this nicks will be filled by the dna ligase Superchylase. What is superchylase? As a two strands of unwind, the results 
in the formation of a positive supercoil super twist in in the region of DNA ahead of replication fork. Accumulation of these supercoils interfere with a further unwinding of double standard DNA. This problem is solved by the enzymes of topoisomerase. This catalyzes the intervention of topoisomerase of DNA. Catalyzes in a three steps of process. Cleavage the one both strand of DNA. Passage of a segment of DNA through this break. Recycling is majorly reselling the DNA. Two types of topoisomerase. Topoisomerase 1 and topoisomerase 2. Topoisomerase is reversible cut. Topoisomerase 1 is the reversible one strand will be double helix. Have both nucleases strand cutting and ligase the strand will reselling. Do not require the ATP. Rather use the energy released by <coughs> phosphodiesterate bond. Cleave the resale the nick. Remove the negative supercoil. For example, bacteria. Topoisomerase 2 is nothing but DNA. Gyrase, heterodimers with two uh, saving ATPs. This is a positive super coiled DNA polymerase. These are the major engines uh, responsible for the polymerization of DNA uh, deoxyribonucleosides, triphosphates, on a DNA template strand of a new complementary strands in prokaryotic based on site and conditions of action. There are three types of uh, DNA polymerase. DNA polymerase 1, DNA polymerase 2 and DNA polymerase 3. All polymerase can be synthesized in a new strand uh, DNA 5' to 3' direction. One template strand will